It never hurts to take a trip down memory lane, eh? We're here at the ACC for Team Gilmore versus Team Beret, the Legends game, in honor of the Hockey Hall of Fame Inductions Weekend. It's a great class this year. It's always a great class. It's the Hockey Hall of Fame as opposed to what? All the bad classes? Anyway, let's enjoy the fun. You've uh, been a leader in, in your career. What, what do you expect out of uh, Mr. Gilmore uh, in this game? Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a lot of fun. He's got himself on defense. I'm giving you a heads up right now. He's playing defense like his junior days. So uh, should be some fun out there today. What do you expect out of the officials? Well, hopefully they're the same, miss everything. But uh, just keep the game going, the clock ticking. We don't want to stop anything. This is actually a much better pace than I'm used to seeing here at the Air Canada Centre. It's funny how this game starts with, oh, you know, we're just here for fun and we're just a bunch of old guys. Then all of a sudden they're flying around the ice and like getting chippy and stuff. So you played in uh, the NHL pretty recently. Uh, how do you think these guys uh, stack up now that they've been out of the game for a while? Oh, they look pretty good. Uh, skills didn't go anywhere, but just uh, not that fast anymore. <laughs> but we get aged, all, all of us. But uh, we still have a passion to play the game. Who has the best shot? Um, I think this guy, all those guys, are <laughs> shooting puck very well. Who do you think's looking the best out there? Uh, Lidstrom, how's that sound? It sounds pretty good. <laughs> Your teammates called you the perfect human. Uh, what's something you're not perfect at? Oh, there's plenty of things. I kind of chuckle when I hear that. Uh, not, not keep my car clean for once. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that uh, Chris Draper and uh, Chris Oscar, uh, you know, came up with that name. So they, uh, they're the pranksters behind that. Who do you think is a better defender than you? Is there one? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta have to let other people uh, <laughs> come, come with an answer to that. But uh, I would have loved to, to have seen uh, Bobby Orr play live, see what he was like, uh, how he revolutionized the, the position. <laughs> you don't come back from that, buddy. You <laughs> Less than a minute to go. Team World has a two-goal lead. It's up to Ilya Brzezgalov to shut the door. He's looking pretty good so far. Oh. Twenty-seven point nine seconds left. It's a five-four game. It's all on Breezy and Team World to protect it. Oh! Not so gentlemanly the game after all. Oh! Oh! Ten point nine seconds left. Pierre Trujan ties the game. What do you think is going to happen? All I know is that if Dougie Gilmore battle for shoot. And one of them score a goal, it's going to be crazy in this place. It's been fantastic to see these guys come back on the ice, man. I mean, Doug Gilmore's why I played hockey. It's, it's awesome. Ducky! I mean, honestly, Doug Gilmore, boys. Ducky! Oh, ho, 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 ho. One thing I learned from today is when these guys played, they were way better players than me. But now, no, no, they're, they're still way better. What did you think of the uh, comeback slash collapse at the end of the game? Yeah, you know, it was, 
great effort. Coach has got the right players out on the ice at the right time and uh, pulled the goalie uh, quite early enough. Maybe uh, almost too late, but uh, fortunate to be able to come back and, and uh, tie it up and then win the shootout. Well, you're in the Hockey Hall of Fame now, and, and congratulations, but what do you think my odds are of getting in? I don't like your chances, but uh, you know what? There's always next year. You keep plugging away, you never know. I'm hoping for a shallow class. <laughs> the Legends game is over. Big 6-5 comeback win for Team Gilmore over Team Bure, and it was a really fun event, but the sports world, it moves quickly. Now it's on to next year. Who do you think is going to get into the 2016 class?